Imagine a situation where you've lost everything, whether through earthquake or flood, tsunami or cyclone, volcano or conflict. What would you and your family need to survive? Imagine a situation where you've lost everything. Then a green box arrives, a shelter box. It started out as a very simple concept. What would you need for your family if you lost everything in a disaster? A strong tried and tested tent for shelter, some thermal blankets, ground sheets, hats and gloves for warmth, mosquito nets and a water filter to protect your family from disease, pots and pans to cook with, a toolkit to repair your home to earn your living. Basically life-saving, life-changing, very essential equipment. Shelterbox was founded in the year 2000 and came of age after the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004. We were able to get hold of an Antonov 124, which is the largest aircraft in the world. We sent 10 Arctic lorry loads up, enough aid for 2,000 families. A massive effort that catapulted us onto the world stage of humanitarian aid. Since then, over 100,000 shelter boxes have been sent to disaster victims on every continent around the world. Shelter boxes are delivered in the most effective ways possible. They're packed by teams of volunteers at Shelterbox HQ in Cornwall, England. They then travel by truck and aeroplane to the affected areas. And that's when the work really starts. Highly trained volunteers from the Shelterbox response team deliver boxes to the most vulnerable and work with communities to train them in using the equipment. Shelter boxes are delivered by boat or helicopter, tuk-tuk or donkey, whatever it takes. When a devastating earthquake hit Haiti in January 2010, Shelterbox mobilised and was sending boxes within hours. It really is unimaginable at this point the totality of, of destruction throughout the city. Every open area is filled with people sleeping in the streets. Everyone's functioning without electricity, without water, makeshift shelters everywhere. It's, it's, it's unimaginable. Just, just the loss of life alone is, is massive. The coordination effort here is huge. It's not just we have shelter, it's where can we put that? Do we have enough for that entire camp? Can we provide security? Can others provide food, water, sanitation for those areas? So it's just a massive coordination effort, the number of different agencies that are here on the ground. I told these people how to put up tents, and now we're putting up a tent one after another. And behind us, uh, you can see the tents they used to live in. So this is an example of people working with us and camp building up. Shelterbox sent nearly 30,000 boxes in total, helping almost a third of a million people. In Pakistan, nearly a month of rain caused floods that killed thousands and left millions homeless. <laughs> Shelterbox responded by distributing enough shelter for 150,000 people. It's a collective will of a huge number of people, from our volunteers, other agencies, our own response team volunteers, global affiliates and our staff. A lot of skill and endeavour goes into it. Every box we deliver brings hope and dignity to people in their greatest hour of need. 
There will always be families in need. Fortunately, there will also be those who want to help. Whatever your contribution, you can make a difference to families made homeless by disaster. Shelterbox relies on volunteers and donations to make its work possible. Your gift of time or money can help save lives and give new hope to families who have lost everything. Bringing shelter, warmth and dignity in the shape of a green box.